What's up guys? Welcome back. Something just showed up at the door. This one's not for me though. It's for me! So exciting! We've been waiting all day. I'm not blaming Apple, but it was supposed to get here at 7 o'clock and it's now 9... 9.24 at night on Monday. <laughs> but it's here! And I'm so excited because I waited for a month. Almost, almost a month. It's actually been about a month, right? It's not been a month. It has been a month. Like, what is it? October what? Eighth? Sixth? It's almost a month. I don't know. Yeah. Some of us know how to order, so we've had ours for a while. I ordered mine two minutes after yours. <laughs> no, two minutes. Literally two minutes. Literally, that's what happens when you wait two minutes. Oh my god. Okay. Lucy, stop. Alright, hang on. It's an upgraded version of my watch. Because I've had my watch for four, four years. Three years? I haven't updated this thing in a long time. This is Too like, long. I think this is either a series three or a series four. I had held off. And four. I'm super excited because I got all little scratches over here. <laughs> it's here. It's the very first time you've gotten a stainless steel version. I know. I upgraded. Because after having this watch for a long time and the other one, my other two watches, within like a week I had little scratches everywhere. So not that I really care, but you care. So. All right, guys. Here we have the... Apple Watch Series 7, stainless steel gold. Gonna do a quick unboxing. Also, because I'm such a sweet guy, I picked her up the cherry. I'm sorry, I think it's called dark cherry. Dark cherry sport band. We're gonna take a look at what that looks like, as well as the Starlight Solo Loop Band and see how they look on the stainless steel gold variant of the Apple Watch Series 7. I'll let you do the honors here, unbox that while I show the good people. I'll flip it over and open the things. Oh. Let's spin so real quick, bam, as you can see the shininess of the gold, this is the stainless steel gold variant. I say that dramatically because she has currently the rose gold, which is pink, not gold. Bam, so this should be legit gold. And she got the red sport band. All right, so now let's open this up and take a look. Open it up. Yep. I have to cut it? Pull. No, pull, oh, the, no. pull the tab. But it's going to be... I'm ruining it. So paperwork. You have the usual suspects. Set up, trash, trash. Charger, and this is the fast charger. So with the new Apple Watches, with the Series 7, regardless of what variant you get, you get a fast charge Apple or uh, Apple Watch charger. I will tell you, I made a comment in my previous video when I unboxed mine, that in the past, when you got a stainless steel, as you can see here, Apple Watch, they gave you a stainless steel charger. This, you can see it's aluminum. Super underwhelming because again, she paid $800 for this thing and she gets an aluminum charger. I'm guessing because of the fast charge, I don't have the answer yet of why this is aluminum versus stainless steel, but I'm guessing it has something to do with the quick charge, the fast charging. Not a huge deal, but if you know anything about aluminum versus stainless steel, the benefit of stainless steel is it doesn't scratch. So having a aluminum charger, especially with no protection and how it sits on the counter, if you have granite, as we do, this thing's gonna scratch like crazy. So a little frustrating that they didn't go the extra mile and give you an, a, or a stainless steel charger with your stainless steel watch. Not here nor there, but just so you know, um, this is a fast charge and you only get the fast charge with the charger in the box 
or if you buy from Apple. So if you have an older Apple Watch charger, it's going to charge just fine, but just not fast charge. That's that, that over there. All right, so nothing else is in the box, just the uh, watch itself. If you pull this guy out. And real quick, again, this is paper. You can see this is the 41 millimeter uh, variant of the Apple Watch. This is a paper encasing. Um, my watch that I unboxed on my previous video was a 45 millimeter. And just to give you a quick side by side, I don't need to do the math for you. 45, 41, that's four uh, millimeter difference. That's I will tell you that um, her old watch, the 40, 4D millimeter versus the 41 millimeter, same in terms of hardware. The only difference is the um, software. So the screen, the LED, or the screen on this guy is gonna be one millimeter bigger than the previous generation. So a little bit bigger screen size is all you is all you get between the two. That's why this is 4D millimeter versus 41 millimeter. All right guys, so real quick, just to give you a look here. Again, like I mentioned, this is the gold variant and this is at night. So it's kind of hard to uh, see the color of this. But I want to zoom in super close. So you can see it's legit gold. It's a really pretty gold color. There you go, that's a good angle. Sorry if there's kind of a glare there, but I wanna get as close as I can. All right guys, so on the left we have the graphite. As you can see, it looks darn near black. Depending on the light, how it hits it, in darker light, because right now it's nighttime, it looks pretty much solid black. I will tell you, in daylight, it has like a silver tone. Whereas the gold one, haven't seen it in the daylight yet, but it's so gold, you can't really get away from that color. Just to give you a quick side by side. There you have it. So the first band we're gonna take a look at is the Starlight. The starlight band on the gold. I'm gonna put that together. So real quick, there's the starlight band, which is a cream color. It's the best I can describe it. Kind of looks gray in some lighting. Looks off white in some lighting, but I would say cream is the best way to describe it. But with the gold, it looks really sharp, especially if you like neutral colors. I would say definitely go with this band. It's a little loose. Of course it is. So I'll be returning that band, but as you can see, <laughs> looks good. It's super nice. I do like the solo band a lot. So one smaller. What size is this? Two. Yeah. Yeah. One smaller. All right. But it's nice. I do like it. So that's the solo band in Starlight. God. Now we'll take a look at... The cherry, I'm sorry, I think it's called dark. Yeah, the dark cherry. This is my favorite band with the gold. I played with some in the Apple store today and it looked super good. Am I super pink pants? Yeah. Looks good, right? Love it. Real quick. Dark cherry with the gold would hands down recommend. As you can see on her wrist there, looks super good. You're looking at it, the dark with the gold. That's just a great color combo. So hands down recommend this combo. Don't mind the Rico laws in the back. She had a little bit of cough. <laughs> looking good, looking fresh. One thing I will say, I really like this watch a lot. One thing I will say that's going to bother me is that because it's stainless steel, you can see all see fingerprints on it. I'm not used to that. It'll be all right. You get over it. Oh, for sure I will. That, that looks that looks smooth. It does look really good. 
Doesn't it, it just looks more luxurious. Like when you're paying $800 for a watch, this looks like an $800 watch. I know. You know, this one does as well, but you can totally tell side the difference. Side by side. Yeah, like you can totally tell the difference between the two. I mean. Look at that. Night and day. Like, look at that. Like the gold versus pink. Like, the, I don't even know how they consider this to be gold. On camera right now, it looks gold. In person, this looks pink. Like, this looks like a very dusty pink color, which is pretty. Yeah. But for a 30-year-old yeah. woman, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> which is all right. Which is, some people like aluminum, the, the matte, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the matte look. Which is, not everybody wants shiny. But a watch should be flashy. Well, depending on who you are. That's my style. I just think that looks so good. Like, I would wear the gold watch. Never been yeah. a gold guy myself, but like that just looks so good. Like, I, I feel like I would feel really comfortable wearing this out to, I mean, I wear my Apple watch everywhere right now, but this, I would feel more comfortable if we were going to an event, like a wedding to wear my yeah. watch. I wouldn't feel like out of place wearing it. Yeah. Fresh. All right, so I want to get really down close and personal here so you can see the color difference and what the gold looks like. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I'm doing my best to get as close as I can to really give you that look. All right, guys, so now here's a comparison. Uh, from left to right, we have the 45 millimeter stainless steel in graphite or the black. We have the stainless steel gold 41 millimeter. And then we have the aluminum um, rose gold. This is the series five, series seven, series seven. So just give you a really zoomed in shot of all three. Personally, I went with the graphite because in some um, angles, it almost looks silver, which I think is just super sharp. To give you a good, good look at what the color is for all those. The red band, but we have yet to throw it on. We're saving this for the video so we can unbox it. This is the product red Apple watch band. Kind of excited what the red's gonna look like with the gold. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, dang. That looks pretty good. Man, that looks really good. That looks really good. Let's do this so we get the full effect here. Yeah, red and gold. Definitely recommend. That looks sharp. Very sharp. Definitely recommend that color combination. Just give you more angles of the gold. Again, not a gold fan myself, but I would absolutely rock this. This is just a really good color, especially with the red. That looks awesome. All right, so that is just a quick look at the red band. We all, all right, guys, that's it for today. Just a quick unboxing of... The uh, Series 7 Apple Watch, 41 millimeter stainless steel and gold. Hope this was helpful. Um, hope this helps make your decision a little bit easier on which way to go in terms of color and style. Uh, do what you always do, please. Like, subscribe, share. Really doing my best to grow my channel so I can bring you guys more content at a faster pace. I uh, definitely need your help there. So please do what you do. Spread the word. I could definitely use the support. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, take care and peace out.